thanks and sanctify. Let my mouth be filled with your praise, that I may sing aloud. My lips shall shout for joy. When I sing to you, hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Holy Amen. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us salvation. Now, mighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <laughs> Father of mercy, you gave us in St. Damien a shining witness of love for the poorest and most abandoned. Grant that by his intercession as faithful witnesses of the heart of your son, Jesus, we too may be servants of the most needy and rejected. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about this question. They were sent out on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, telling of the conversion of the Gentiles and brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church as well as by the apostles and the presbyters, and they reported what God had done with them. But some from the party of the Pharisees who had become believers stood up and said, it is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and the presbyters met together to see about this matter. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial song. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem, built as a city with compact unity, to it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us come to According to the decree for Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you, just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and withered. People will gather them and throw them into a fire, and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. 
when one looks at the lives of the saints. Like today as we celebrate the memorial of Saint Damien, young priest from Belgium who volunteers to go to the leper colony at Molokai in Hawaii and would spend his life serving the needs of those who were struck and afflicted with the disease of leprosy. Eventually, he would contract the disease himself and die at the age of 49 in 1800s, I think it's 1889, if I'm not mistaken. Now, we listen to the gospel today. And if one was a person who struggled with an issue of faith, or if one was a person who had no faith, they would hear today's gospel, where Jesus speaks of the vine, the branches, that if you remain in him, you will bear much fruit. And if you do not remain in him, you will produce no fruit. And one can look at the situation that we live in. And it's not just solely in the United States. One can look at various places throughout the world and one can see good people trying every day to live a decent life, trying to live a life that is virtuous, trying to obey commands of God, trying to treat their neighbor as themselves. And they're struggling. They may not have any type of material wealth. To be honest with you, some of them may have very little material and we look at others, we see people who go on to the, the, to the world's stage. They may profess Christianity, Catholicism. But boy, their lifestyle is far from it. And we see them in their nice houses, their nice cars. I think COVID really brought that to us. The joke was they're sitting there saying we're all in the same boat together as they're in the yacht and we're in our little rowboat at best for some are even having a life preserver and that's all we have to hang on to. And we hear the words of Jesus about bearing much fruit, remaining in his, and we think to ourselves, Lord, where's the fruit? I mean, look at what's going on. They're doing well. Here we are. Look at poor St. Damien. Where's the fruit of his life? He died in a leper colony, struck with leprosy. He literally rotted it to death. Where's the fruit, God, that you promise? You say, ask in my name, and it will be done for you. Where is it? Show it to me. And the person without faith looks and says, aha, you see, you Christians... You Catholics, this affirms he doesn't care. He was a divine watchmaker. He came, he made the clock, he turned the key and walked away. Your God does not listen. Or some would say, you see, there is no God. Because you do all these things and where is the fruit? But for the person who has faith, and this is why faith is an intellectual thing, more so than a feeling thing. For the person who has faith, they understand deep down that we are on a journey. We're pilgrims on a journey. We can live in any country in this world, but our land, our home is not of this world. Material possessions, we're detached from them. If we have them, good. If we don't, good. Our heaven is not the material possessions, the acclamation of uh, accumulation of money or fame. None of that is for us. It's for the world. 
Our goal, our destiny lies in the next. And that's hard to convince someone who doesn't have that initial belief, who just gauges themselves on material things. And that's why for so many Christianity is a difficulty. But it's not for us. And therefore, we need to continue to show the world by the way we live. That we can be good citizens of whatever country we live in. We don't need to be disobedient to the laws. We don't need to accumulate all these things in the world. Our home is not here. Our lives should be totally focused, and especially as we get older, especially as we get older, it should be focused on getting to heaven. And not, as some people say, may I make it there by the skin of my teeth. I did not know teeth had skin, but that's an old saying. No, let's not just try to barely make it in. Let's focus on going to God. And if that means material, so be it. If that means no material, so be it. It's focus on living a good life. That is the fruit that we can pass on to the future generation as Damien passed it on to us. Of all the wealthy people in the world in eight, who died in the year 1889, how many this day or in any day of the calendar year are being remembered? Of all the people in the world who died in the year 1889, rich and poor alike, how many are being remembered throughout the world today? Damien is. So his life is still bearing fruit and it will continue to bear fruit as long as a mass is being offered anywhere. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, we offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Oh, yeah. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Oh, yeah. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass on video, for the needs of you here present in our church today. We pray to the Lord. We pray for Julie, and excuse me, I'll probably mispronounce the last name, but it looks like Kobe. No. Excuse me? Kalamai. So we pray for Julie and her family for whom this Mass is being offered today. We pray to the Lord. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work with human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Yes, yes. Yes. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, the fear of goodness we have received, the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work with human hands, will become our spiritual fruit. Yes, we are.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. So the praise and glory of his name, of our Lord and the Church. Grant me, pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these pastoral mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, Lord. But in this time, above all, to walk yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us, and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more the Lamb once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, proclaim a pastor to every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, saying together in the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, Holy o Lord, the font of all holiness. Make only therefore these gifts we pray by putting down your spirit upon them, like the default, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and willingly into his passion, he took bread out and gave you thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the child. So once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim and profess your revelation. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking up the body and blood of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died for mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. And may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. After Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And we do not harm and take it, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. To await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Communion next time at the top of page 112. The Lord has risen and shown his light upon us, whom he has redeemed by his blood. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. 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 May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is in this going peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. O oh, my God, in our defend us to God. May our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him with the humble prey, and be you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits, who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of the world. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, most of the Lord, son of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit that never weep. Blessed be the great mother of God, there most holy. Blessed be the Lord in the act of conception. Blessed be the glorious assumption. Blessed be the 
Mary, Virgin Mother, and let us be the same to those who will change power.